welcome back to Let's Make Lemonade. If you saw our last video, it was um, it was a sad one. It was a really sad one. Um, we, if you're new to this channel, um, we are going through IVF and we just found out that our last transfer failed. Yeah. And so here we are about four days out and we just wanna talk about it. We want to share with you our thoughts and where we're gonna move on from here. So, so, where are we moving on from here? How, how are we feeling? Let's talk about that. How do we feel right now? I feel a hell of a lot better than I did um, <laughs> four days ago. Um, yeah. I was in shock. I was crying, just like anyone who would yeah. who figures this all out or finds this news out. Um, if you listened to that video, you would you would have heard how amazing our doctor is. Man, incredible. I mean, this incredible. process is hard, but. Yeah. If I, just having him by our side, like it just makes it a tiny bit more pleasant. Um, so we are just super thankful for him. Um, so we are, I am better, I'm feeling better. I have to admit, I was sad, I was um, broken. <laughs> um, I had so much hope that it was gonna work um, and it didn't. So um, I would say for the first couple of days, I just needed to stay busy and he, yeah. he just ran errands and I just went with him. And even if it was to, it was the to- city dump, actually. Yeah, it to was throw, the city dump. Throw away boxes and different things, so yeah. And it didn't matter because I just needed to not be by myself. Right. Yeah, you know, it, it was interesting because uh, usually running certain types of errands, you know, you usually don't want to go. No. But man, uh, literally she was attached to the hip um, and you know, it, it was, it was sweet. It was much needed. And, uh, but I will say, you know, very proud of you, honey. Um, it, it's been tough for both of us, uh, two different reasons, two different angles, uh, perspectives, I guess you would say not reasons, but two different perspectives of the same, yeah. same situation. Yeah. And, um, it, it's, it's, it's been, it's been tough, but, but I'll, but I'll tell you that, uh, this has motivated us more than any, anything ever could. Um, you know, we are fighters in this house. You know, we, yeah. we, we don't stop. It doesn't mean we don't feel. We do. Yeah. We feel all of it, um, every ounce. But um, the way we utilize that, that, that pain uh, is, is full forward progress and from full forward movement. Uh, we're not gonna wallow. We're not gonna sit and, and, uh, and, and, and soak in, in the pain. We're gonna use it as motivation, right, babe? Yeah, totally. Motivation to keep moving and keep pressing forward. So. I mean, that's all you can do. I mean, the right. good news is we have embryos left. Yeah. And so we're just gonna go back at it. Um, I, we, we are fighters and we're just yeah. gonna keep moving forward. For me, I feel like there's so much time to wait in between anyway that yeah. I don't feel the need to wait even longer. Mm -hmm. um, if you saw our last video, you would have seen that our doctor recommended for us to do the ERA, right. endometrial receptivity array or analysis test. And um, <laughs> so we're going to do that. And I am still waiting for my period to start. It hasn't started yet. Although I hear a lot of girls say it takes anywhere from three days to a week. And mm. I'm like on day four. Mm. So hopefully any day now it'll start. And with that, mm. there will be some more hope and uh, more healing that's involved in that process. Yeah. So if anyone, uh, if you have gone through this, I am so sorry that you have to deal no, with this. Man. It sucks. Royally. It sucks. Yeah, um, it sucks. Big time. I would just say you take the time that you need for yourself. Um, I would, mm -hmm. afterwards, after we told our, our family mm -hmm. and I basically shared it on Instagram, he gave, he he just poured a nice glass of red wine for me. Oh, instantly. It instantly. was. Oh yeah. It, <laughs> and yeah. I didn't even I didn't even like. But it, I wasn't the. I didn't even. I was just like, yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. And we got the news. We told our folks. I went straight to the cabinet. Yeah. Like, let's go. Like, yeah. miles away. Hey, Go hard or go home, right? But, you know. Yeah. So you do what you gotta do. You do. You know. You yeah. you stick around those people who can support you. Oh my gosh, the people on Instagram. Yes. They have. I was just telling him they they heal a piece of my soul every single day. And can, can I can I speak to everyone real quick? Sure. Okay. So I cannot tell you, ladies, um, Instagram, uh, YouTube world, oh, YouTube, yeah. who pour your thoughts. Take a little piece of your time. To, to share, to, uh, to love, to give encouragement to my wife. I cannot tell you how much I'm grateful for you. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really mean it. Um, you know, 
as a husband, you know, we have our role, we have our place, we have our things that we do, but to, but we can't provide community the way a community of women or people can do. Um, you know, and what you have all have done for my wife and for me, man. I mean, it's really us. I kind of get it like secondhand, so to True. speak, because I get the benefit of it because it's, it's so healing for her uh, and it's really healing for our home. And I, I just want to thank all of you so much. I don't, I know some of the names, some of the Instagram handles and YouTube handles. I know some of the names. I don't know your actual names, but thank you again so much. You heard from, I want you to hear from me. Um, I know she's she's mentioned before that I'm thankful, but I want everyone to, to hear me. I mean, this this journey has been rough. It's been hard. It's been long. Uh, a severe blow a few days ago, but man, uh, I can't imagine going through all of this this particular season a couple of days ago even without having all of you in our corner with all the love and support and kind words that you've uh, that you've shown. So thank you. Totally, totally. Yeah. And to the ladies here who have sent me messages through YouTube, like mm. just to let me know that I'm not alone, mm. that you've gone through this as well. It it just it does something for me. So yeah. thank you for taking that moment to to tell me that. You know, and it's so cool, man. You know, for anyone to take a moment of their time. Yeah. You know, time is totally. it's one the, the one precious resource we all have that you don't want to waste any of it, right? And for any uh, anyone who has has sent a message or a note or anything, uh, you know, to us, you know, or to directly to Selena, that means so much that you've taken a piece of your time, a piece of your day, yeah. to to spread love and encouragement and to share it. I think think it's awesome. So, you know, it's a lot of love. It's a massive love fest all the time, on the with the ladies on Instagram and YouTube. And so we're so thankful for that. You know, um, but I definitely will tell you it's been helpful through these last few days. It has. Um, uh, a big yeah. help. Moving forward, we're going to keep sharing. And and uh, like you said on one of the previous videos, whether it be good news or not so good news, you know, um, not an easy thing to do, is it, baby? Not no, a, it's not. <laughs> not easy. It's, it's not, not man. because like these last couple of days, I've been pretty quiet on Instagram. And yesterday, I just didn't do anything. Yeah. And um, you know, when you when you're just sad and you feel like you have nothing to give because you're coping through it. Yeah. Um, it's easy to just get just sunk into that depression, you know, and I certainly have felt it, but I think sharing the story, because like I say it all the time, it's not just for us, it's for you too. Yeah. Um, it's so beyond us and yeah. um, it helps to just like, even though I feel like, oh, I just want to isolate myself, like yeah. that's the time to push through and push forward right. and just to get it out there. And just talking about this is so healing for me. Ah, uh, it's so much better. It's really interesting to, to hear you say that because you know she's she's wanted to retreat and be by herself and uh, natural. It's a natural uh, reaction, I think, that a lot of people yeah. have. Uh, and it's interesting to see you do that. And for me, I'm trying to cope by staying overly busy so I can, so I don't have to think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I'm trying to distract myself from the thoughts and the feelings by staying so busy and. I'm, I'm trying to create errands to run and different things that things I've never done before. I'm like, let me just go do this. Yeah. It sounds cool because I don't have to think about things. And and I see you, you know, just just retreating and trying to, you know, somewhat hide from the world and not connect and all that. And it's it's just interesting to see both of us in the same household re reacting differently. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but we, we look at each other and we smile about it. We laugh and we talk through, through these things and it, it's pretty fascinating to see how human behavior plays out when you get devastating news like this. Uh, so not fun. No, no. <laughs> so the next steps, man. I mean, the next steps, press on. What yeah. other choice do we have, baby? We, right. We don't, we gotta keep moving, gotta keep grinding, gotta that's, keep pushing. That's right, we put our heart, our soul, our blood, sweat and tears yeah. into this thing and we're just gonna keep moving. I mean, before you know it, we are already, what, May 28th, we're mm -hmm. almost done with this month. Yeah. The cycle of June will be for this ERA test, yep. and then we're going to go back at it in July. So okay. before you know it, we'll be right back into it. So. Keep going. That's the motto on this house. We keep going. We yep. don't stop. And I tell you, you know, we, we talked about this the other day, and I asked her, and I said, you know, what other play do we have but to keep going? Right. we got to keep going. There is no other option but to keep pressing. We've yeah. been We've been blessed with, with the opportunity to, keep, to, to continue and to keep going. So guess what we're going to do? Yeah. Keep going. There's a reason why I wear this bracelet that says never give up. Yeah. It's because I need that reminder to just push forward. Right. I think if it was up to like our feelings and our emotions, it's so easy to just not. <laughs> Man. 
Ain't that so, the truth, girl? Cause... I'm really thankful that I have someone who supports me and um, just says, all right, let's keep going. So, you know, one thing that you, you said something key right there is about our emotions yeah. and what our emotions can do. And, and one thing that we, we talk about is that sometimes your emotions aren't your friend. Your, your emotions will try to keep you uh, in a safe place, try to keep you in a place of um, don't do it again because, you, you, you know, you don't, get hurt. you don't get hurt again. So and your emotions will, will keep you stagnant and from keep you from pressing forward. So, you know, it's very interesting where we are. It's a it's a it's a stew of emotions right now. We're still processing. Um, there's there's still pain. There's still disappointment. But there's also the silver lining. There's also hope. There's also prayers. There's also the Lord. There's so many different things that we need to focus on other than what didn't happen versus what is going to happen. Yeah. So that's where we are. That's where, that's where I'm at. Where are yeah. you at, boo? You yeah. good with that? I'm good. You good I'm with good. that? Okay. You know, I was telling him I have a little bit of, I still have sadness in my heart. Of course. And I think of course. Yeah. I, I shared on Instagram that you are grieving. You're grieving your embryo. And it's not completely like a miscarriage because I didn't carry this baby. That's a whole other thing. And yeah. for those of you who have dealt with that, my heart goes out yeah, to you because absolutely. that is not yeah. easy. Um, yeah. But it is also, it could have been um, our baby girl. She was a girl and I didn't share that here. Um, mm -hmm. So that was rough because, you know, we did get our embryos um, pre-genetically screened or genetically tested. And so she had a really good chance of making it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was rough. Um, I really felt sad, like someone died. And I was like, right, somebody did die, yeah. our little girl. Mm -hmm. um, but we're pushing forward and I mean, that's all you can do, right? So, yeah. so we're, we're making it. Yep. So now, you know, we've we've got uh, the appointments. We've got a, yeah. a test come up, the ERA test, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just waiting for the cycle to start. As soon as that starts, I go right back in and get my baseline done. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, more to come, man. I mean, yeah. here, here we are. We're on this journey. Y'all are rocking with us. Uh, and, you know, it's God. It's you rocking all, so good. You all are so amazing. Killing it. I this, just... Yes, fire. I love it. I love it too. I know. I They're just wonderful people. I love my new friends. I'm hugging all of you right now, virtually. Like, Can we come, all hug? come, come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to meet every single one of you. Yeah, yeah. If you're new, then um, I just encourage you to subscribe and push the push notifications Bing. bell um, so that you know whenever we upload a video yep. twice a week. And so just to come along this journey, if you're about to go through IVF, if you are going through IVF, if there are questions that you may have that I can help you with, oh my gosh, feel free. Don't ever hesitate to ask. We are here um, together. I truly believe we're stronger together. That's right. We are. So. That's it. Until next time. See you then. <laughs>